Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here in Old World Blues playing as the Protectron Security Hub. So last time we expanded greatly over the Colorado River, having a good time here and there, and bringing more order, we'll say, to the wasteland. So right now we're justifying on the Lord's Anointed, and let's get through a couple of comments. First of all, first of all, someone recommended I use MacArthur as a commanding officer, as a field marshal, instead of just a general. So I figured, you know what? Okay. Since someone asked for it, I guess I'll do it. So I made Unit 503, Unit 503, the leader of the army, because, well, he's still, like MacArthur, American as apple pie, which we, which we just get a ton of attack. But anyways, now we have a focus to do, such as... Uh, we'll talk about that in just a little bit. The sugar bomb question, huh? Scientific backstabs for an event. We're, missing, we're nearing an end to the sugar bomb debate. Finally, so... Couple other things. Now we have Mac Daddy as Field Marshal. I did ask you guys yesterday whether we should stay with or remain true to our corporate spirit, or should we spit on the ideals of Rocco? Now, there's support for both sides, but there is absolutely overwhelming support for remaining true to our corporate spirit. Like an insane amount of support. Actually, this is a really, really nice little uh, icon. Holy crap, that looks really, actually, really good. Anyways, so we're gonna go down with remaining true. And a couple other things, uh, with the intelligence agency, I think I asked you guys yesterday, yesterday, not yesterday, but yesterday, from the last video, what our intelligence agency name should be. Uh, let's see, we're putting up a lot of civilian stuff. Let's go ahead and create an agency. Is there anything that says robotics or America? Hmm, anything that screams America to us. Maybe this one seems okay. Not really Spanish here. An eagle seems okay as well. I like that one. Let's go with this one, just because it's red, white, and blue. And the name that we chose is the Federal Intelligence Service and, and you know, let's put an and right there, Tax Office. And if you realize what it says, or its acronym, FISTO. I love FISTO. And now we shall be led by FISTO to a degree. Hmm. Fist, fist, fist. So, a prerequisite to install Fisto is a puppet of the Protectron Security Hub. I don't think I can actually do that. I don't think that's going to be possible, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, I don't think it'll be possible. That's okay. Let's go ahead and have a good time with these guys. So, with this campaign, we are planning on rebuilding the United, United States as best as possible. Apparently, I can't speak in this episode. So, it is what it is. Uh, if we want to go to war with someone else, we'll go to war with the Legion eventually, I promise. We'll definitely do that. Crazy Horns might be good to attack next. Not bad. Pretty good. Ah, uh, there goes Mac Daddy. I love him. Cool. Uh, square rig sales. Someone also recommend that we be called, like, the CIA with our intelligence agency. But I figured with this campaign and uh, with the pleasures of Fisto, I think it'd be pretty appropriate. Siege of Hidden Valley. Oh, New Vegas is doing pretty well with them. Cool. So some, some other people also recommended that I focus on research techs, or not research techs, but really extraction, resource extraction techs. So we can make sure that we have... I really can't speak, can I? So we get more circuitry. That's what I'm trying to say. More circuitry would be good. And let's finish our land auction off with internal replicators. So we also want to build up some more roads so we get some more resources as well. Uh, over here would be bad, actually, to do that. New Sterling would be really good for a little more circuitry, anything, anything else. Right there, cool. Right there, too. And then we'll also do... where else? Right there. Anywhere else? Circuitry, where are you? Ah, well, zero, 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 zero. That doesn't seem too promising, so I'm going to wait to do that. So, scientific backstab. We have spent an unreasonable amount of time dealing with the Food Commission. Unfortunately, though, our focus on this matter has caused the rest of the scientific community to rebel. Wild Bill has begun claiming that under his leadership, frivolous aims such as this will not be tolerated. Such an action is utter betrayal of the triumvirate. Making progress on sugar bomb research. Oh my goodness. Oh. What in the god dang American spirit are you doing, Wild Bill? Strengthen the power of the executive. Strong arm the scientific community. Let's let's do this one. Power of the executive. So we should have been prepared for the machinations of our rivals. We must strengthen the power of our ruler, or else this may continue. Oh, for the love of God, this is not good. 
Fisto, Fisto, Fisto. And I still want to keep making at least one civilian factory the entire time. We'll make some more military or arms workshops, but it's going to take some serious time real first. Go do that. Andres joined the jungle pack, but no one cares. Eh, this is fine for now. Someone asked if I was going to use or make any human divisions. Uh, I'm not really planning on it, really. I'm just going to mostly just use robots, for the most part. I love me the robots. Robatos, robatos, robatos. As long as they don't get pierced, we do need to get some combat robots too, so. That I do remember. Okay, game, uh, can I click one more, please? Thank you. As long as they don't have anti tank, we should be good. Okay, so what? Game. Come on. I hold down shift, please. Please. Cool. Over here, uh, let's get them resource stacks, which we're going to do next. Yeah, I'll do that one next, cool. Mm. Research speed, let's save our political power up. We can always core more stuff, so. Coring stuff is always good. Coring department, nice. Cryptology stuff, just do Kazar's Legion for now, that'd be fine. It's going to take forever anyways. Save our stuff up, build, 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 and have a sip of our delicious... Delicious. Coffee. We only get 0.77 a day. That's not enough. Yeah, that's pretty good, though. Strengthen the power of the executive. Now we should strong arm the scientific community. Enough is enough. We have played along with the petulant children in charge of our research. We need to end this farce now. Question of governors. We want to do that eventually as well. Good, my friends, good. Economic advisors, infrastructure new letter base, it's cool. Honest speaker? Eh, it's not bad. Head physician looks pretty good. The earlier we take this, the better it is for us. Even though coming over here would be better just so we can get faster, justify war gold time. Words are difficult. We got a couple combat robots too. Infantry armor's coming along as well. It's not great, but it's coming along. Refined tools, nice. I'm gonna grab that because we need that. Energy-wise, we're doing okay as well. Someone recommended, and uh, from yesterday's video, uh, that's looking better, that we prepare for the Legion. Yes, eventually we will go to war with the Legion. This is probably going to be a full waste on Conquest, to be honest with you guys. So, there's that. And, yeah, we already renamed our agency Fisto. We got some outriggers. Cool. Anything for robots again? No. Support equipment. We could do that, but let's wait. The Antelope Tribe's looking pretty thick. They're probably the thickest I've ever seen. My chapel's looking pretty good. This is the thickest I've ever seen the marrow drinkers as well. Wow. Wow. Rio chapter's down there looking pretty good. Remember, Atsan always seems to have a, like a, you know, an issue with itself. Oh, always seems to happen now. It's only 10. You can get a bonus, so that's fine. Not bad. Hey, we're done with that. We might just go to war with the White Legs just because we can. Actually, hold on. Hold the phone. Who is that? Frisco City. Huh. That is interesting. And they're out of manpower. Timekeepers? Overwatch talk? Hmm. I kind of want to uh, go to war already. Let's see what happens. We should be able to do okay unless they have anti tank. Oh, mmm, mmm. Demo, double demo teams, maybe. Let's see what happens. Maybe this is a bad idea. But with 80% more attack, I mean, especially for a general and field marshal, I think we're doing pretty darn well. Very nice. Strong arm the scientific community. Now we shall have mastery over machines. The crisis is over. We brought the malcontents back in line and given the food commission their precious goods. We have come out stronger than ever and are free to pursue realistic scientific goals. We get more attack and defense, and sugar bomb production, resource efficiency gain, non-core manpower, supply consumption goes down by 10%. What more could you ask for? Zero casualties? Well, I can't do that quite yet. We lost five guys, I'm sorry. But we're working good. Resource extraction gain, then we went down to minus 13, I don't like that. Mm-mm. Crop rotations? Ooh. Ooh. And we're done with the land auction. Great, thank you. Crazy horse. That was very nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
I'll get some better planes, please. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, the white legs are pretty big. Pretty darn big. Sick old nation right there. Hopefully they can win the war so we can just take these guys out. Is that all? Actually, that's all the ways we have here. Let's go one, two, three here. You can let time go on. Hades, New Hammond, pretty normal stuff. Put the down to normal. Oh, do you have an upgrade unit? Uh, more attack is always nice. Local leader. Let's go local leader, though. This is usually a better one to choose. Taking over the wasteland with only plus 30 ish divisions. That would be quite a feat to do. Uh, I'll do that one. We need more civilian factories. Because I'm, I'm just pretty much just going to conquer military factories. Come on, guys. When? Are you guys out of manpower yet? Please? No? Oh, you got some manpower back. Okay. That's good. That's good for them, I guess. Recycling is always a good thing to do. 2279. Happy New Year, my friends. Happy New Year. Do we have. You guys up to? Oh, what are you up to? Maybe we could plop a plane here. Do we have any planes? I really don't remember. Yeah, we do have a couple planes. That's nice. Well, try try plane attackers. Yes, yes, please. Additional plating, good. We're gonna grab basic laser weaponry just because that makes sense for a nation like us to do. We'll set up to fifty for now. Go and do that too. Shashoni nation's gone. Good job, High Chapel. Good job. And of course, we still need more resources. Of course. Mm, well, they might be doing in circle there, but they're kind of winning back. Oh, well, hold on. Well, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. We'll see what happens. If they can take Vault Twenty Four, that's all they really need. Demilitarization. You got to be kidding me, son. No one in the right mind right now would do that. That's looking better for circuitry. That's very bueno. Becoming more. Oh, maybe less and less intellectual, but we're becoming very elitist. And I like that. Ah, uh, another robot division. I really gotta make another uh, combat support robot division stuff. Uh, ramp up production, civilian workshops, workshops, finalize. Oh, that's not bad. Disgruntled military. Uh, let's go and do that since we're at peace. So, our military has begun to question the rulership of our leaders. No doubt this is being egged on by our rivals in the triumvirate. If left undressed, all the work we've accomplished might be for naught. We're gonna go to war yet, just kinda hold on. Watch them destroy these guys over there first. Cool. Just finished my coffee, which tasted a little disgusting. And they won. So this is a bad time to do disgruntled military then. Hmm. Oh well. Better get so much manpower. I love it. I love it a lot. Lightweight metals. Cool. We still need some more support robots. Alright, so be it. So be it. <coughs> we need some more close air support. Fighters are okay. Combat robots are doing pretty darn well. Let's go and... Uh, well, actually, where do you have you guys here? You guys are 12 combat with, so each one's worth 4. Mm, you guys are... Wait, hold on. You guys are 17? Oh, no, you guys are 2.5. Let's change you to this. There you go. Something like that might be better. That's 20 combat with. Let's see. 6, and then... One. Huh. Can I actually core anything? Oh, actually, this is all already all cored. You can declare one of the white legs, so this is not cored. Because we just got it. Um. Hmm. This one might not be bad to core. It's going to take forever to get over there, though. And we don't have to core it immediately. Let's do what's on survival training, maybe? Steam power extraction. Very good. Very good. Minus three, not bad, not bad. Military training, good. So we get more. Well, that really won't affect us too much. But these guys fighting over there. Do you guys have anti tank yet? They might, they might not, but they're kind of out of manpower, so it doesn't really matter too much. Using the TA, huh? Security patrol, nice, another one. Should do okay ish. I don't think kind of pierced us a little bit. Disgruntled military was a bad idea to do now. 
And let's do this one. So, reorganized command structure. We have the political clout needed to excise the rot within our military. But once accomplished, we will cement ourselves as the most powerful of the triumvirate. Plus 40% recovery and organization. So really, we get a total plus 15%, which isn't bad. Losses. Yep, that's more than I wanted. 14. Uh, New Canaan seems to be struggling killing off their enemies. But you know what? To each of their own. To each of their own. Oh, yeah, we're slowly pushing them in. Slowly, slowly, slowly. They still have a few guys here. Are, do they have to... Yep, they have to garrison this. So they're going to run out of manpower, hopefully. Hopefully, eventually. Good. Good. Link up, if you can. Nice. Even though we, I know we don't have a full stockpile. We've got all 2,500 already. Holy crap. We don't have a full stockpile of uh, soldiers. Or, you know, support robots. So after this one, we'll probably have to wait and maybe just... Mm, hold on, let's see. Yeah, I want to make these guys even bigger. I want to make them, like, 40 combat width if possible. It might help if you attack as well. Yeah, some of these robots are not looking great right now. Cool, basic laser weaponry. Go ahead and grab some of this. Yeah, we definitely have to wait. Brig, schooners, triremes. Yeah, eventually. Someone recommended I get a carrier so I can just use my, uh... Use the carrier as just like a mobile air fuel. Quite literally as a mobile air fuel, so. Uh, how about we move you guys up here then? There you go. Can you attack and win? Yeah, you probably can. Go, we've killed off, well, 4,300 of them. New Canaan doesn't seem to be doing very much about this. Send the clock to Flagstaff. Well, we won't do that before they do too much. They just got another 1,000 manpower. That's not good. That is really not good for us. Alright, so does that mean I actually have to pay attention here? That sucks. Now go ahead. There you go, that should make things a little bit easier. Oh, you guys come here, you guys come here. That'd be good. Good, do we cut them off? We might have. Yeah, they're barely pushing in at all. I think they don't even know what they're doing, really. Yeah, we're des definitely running out of robot stuff. That is not good. Uh, I'm gonna grab some out more output, maybe, for now. Good. We've lost 100, which is more than normal. We've got off 5,000, though. Which is pretty good. Pretty good. Where's your capital? Lincoln. We'll probably get to Lincoln soon enough. Surprised they have all this extra manpower, though. Good. We got rid of that debuff. Let's remain true to our corporate spirit. So, we're loyal Robco Protectrons through and through. Even though Mr. House is a thousand miles away, we still trust in his original vision. Anything else here? Uh, our artillery? I don't really have artillery. Better reinforce rate, defense, gamma. Let's go with gamma. Recovery rate and defense seems pretty okay, since we are on defense a little bit from time to time. Oh, what are you guys doing? I need you guys to engage the enemy if possible, please, right now. Alright, if you don't want to do that, then I'm going to manually move you. Cool. Doing okay over there, that's okay. Come on, cut him off. Good stuff. Can they? Oh, they might be able to actually pierce us. No? We're still struggling, though. And we're going to kill off another division right there. Great! Yeah, garrisoning stuff? Garrisoning stuff it really isn't a problem for us. It is a little bit, but not too much. Not the biggest problem that we have right now. Mm, it's a little bit ahead of time. Even more plane stuff? Sure. We don't even worry about that. Just go to Lincoln. Uh... There you go, go that way. Nice. Good, we have got... We've gotten, we have reached Lincoln. Come here, cut them all off, and then take the capital again. Good, these guys are cut off. They're still getting just a tiny bit of supply, but not very much. 1.18, not enough. Never enough. Good. And... Good. Ramp up robot production. Let's do this. The question of governors. It's time to appoint a governor to look over the territory we established on the west bank of the Colorado. In which we get the event of three appointees emerge. Which is kind of nice. Oh, these guys are completely surrounded. And they should be dying. Guerrilla tactics are nice. Very good, very good, very good. 
Ah, uh, you might as well do Cutter Hulse because you can. Now we need Garrison. This weird name of a town, but okay. Whatever. Go ahead, come on in. Cool. Oh, we're missing 800 of those robots, that's all. How many we We lost quite a few. We lost than 200, but that's still quite a bit. We've killed off. Okay, so the Mormons have finally killed off a good chunk. But they literally only did 5% of the work. So I'll give them that. That's probably more than what they deserve. And I have a good feeling, now the Mormons didn't like that. So, we're going to defend. Now let's do like this. Hmm. There you go. One, two, three, four. That is quite the line over here. Oh, we quite the line up north. Yep, we definitely don't have enough divisions for this. Oh, crap. Uh, you know what? Do that one first. We might be able to spread through the s southern portions first. Yeah, taking this area out might be a really bad idea to begin with. Hmm. I actually have enough infantry armor. Actually, we do have enough support robots. Oh. That is news to me. Cool. Any, play any more places where we can get circuitry? Yes. Nice. Anywhere else? I don't think so. I don't really see very much. Yep, I knew New Canyon would want that. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. They don't deserve it, though. What did they do? They did nothing, basically. They lost, like, a guy or two, and that's it? Oh, there's some more. Uh, I don't want to really build in these areas that we won't be able to hold, really. There we go. Um, I could pull a cheesy strat and make them, like... Hmm, how strong are these guys? Oh, they're not strong at all. We might be able to just push into there quickly and destroy them. Yeah. They're out of manpower. Religious immigrants? Yeah, that's not going to help you very much, man. Let them go to war with us. Yeah. We'll see what happens. It shouldn't be too bad with these guys. It really shouldn't. Oh, I get it. You want territory. <laughs> Ah, question of governors. With the question of governance raised, each of the triumvirates has rallied for their robot to be in control. MacArthur has campaigned for Richard K. Sutherland, one of those loyal subordinates who promises to develop a thriving naval hub directly on the Colorado River. Crazy Horror, Crazy Horror, no, Crazy Horse, on the other hand, has been pushing for Gaul to be assigned to the position. Gaul has pledged to renovate Altona and create a stag staging ground for the eventual push north. Finally, Wild Bill Hickok has suggested that his right-hand gal, Calamity James, be given the position. Jane wishes to develop the infrastructure further and implement new design software in the military to combat military attrition. The people of Yinta have voted and the winner is... Ooh, wow, way less political power. More naval experience gain, which is good. Resource efficiency gain is actually very good as well. We lose some stability. Uh, we're going to lose stability and political power gain anyways. 10% resource efficiency gain again. Less division attrition. Gal's promise. Uh, out of supply. I'm going to go with Sutherland. That just seems like the best when you get more daily naval XP. That's not too bad. Manufacturing a state capital. Ooh. So, now that a governor has been assigned to the territory, it's time, high time, we construct a place for the said governor to reside. Port Arthur, huh? Wild Mountain. Where's Wild Mountain? Oh, I am spelling things wrong. Or is it Wild Mountain? There it is. Oh, it's right there. It's already core. Seems appropriate enough. Now, do they have anti-tank? Doesn't look like it. So we should be able to push it in pretty quickly in the south. Should be able to. Should. Should. Oh yeah, we really don't need to raise any more manpower. Pre-war designs. Uh, recon, air technologies, that's not bad to do. Over here we're going to wait. I'm just going to acquire another piece of territory so we can get some more stuff. Oh, good, 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 good. If anything, this other division here is going to hang out right there. There you go. Just stay there for now. That's fine with me. 
Because if we can just like snipe this way, we can cut off all of these soldiers, which is actually really, really good. Yeah, we're going to try to snipe this way. We might again circle doing it like this, but whatever. One, two, one, two, three. Yeah, that'll be worth it. <coughs> ah, monoplane fighters, cool. Very good. Naval modules, you might start doing this too. Uh, what do we have over here? Better planes? Yes, please. Oh, that. Why does everything have to cost circuitry? It's like everything has a cost. Why? Why do? Why, why do they have to cost things? You know why? Engine advancements. Okay, I can go get along with that. Make some doggos as well. Yeah, yeah. That seems pretty nice. Can I change this any larger? Ah, uh, that's thirty-two organization, one hundred seventy-five health. You guys have a little bit less health and way less, way more organization. I don't mind trading one of you guys in to become this. Just so we can spread this out a little bit more evenly, even though you guys aren't really ready to go. Cool. Add you guys here. You guys stay right there. That'd be fine. Oh, I really don't want to have to wait for New Kenya to go to war with me. I really don't want to. But it looks like we're going to have to. I have a little bit of manpower left. Okay, well, well whatever. So, how much soft attack do these guys have? 87-ish? 47? 87? 47? 187, 94. So that's actually quite a bit better using these heavy robots. Good. Let's let time go on first. Manufacturing state capital. Good. And support the local governor. Our political rivals have been pressuring our appointee, creating undue instability. Let's remedy that. Ah, so get more daily political power, stability, and daily more even more daily political power. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, we only get 0.83 a day, which isn't very nice, we'll say. We got tons of infantry equipment, though. Holy cow. Yeah, we only really need to keep it on one. That's that's real nice. Definitely need more planes, though. Combat robots, most definitely. Hmm. Let me duplicate this first. Biggies. Cool, because I want to make sure that they're actually better. Uh, go and do that. That's fine. A little bit ahead of time, but no worries. Oh, Myla. Mlea. Mlea. I have not seen Mlea for a very long time. Probably since I actually played as the Marlock tribe, which you should totally go check out if you haven't already. That was an interesting campaign. That was very interesting. Mlea. Biggies, eh? We might throw maintenance companies on here, too. Uh, probably need some support robots, just to get some, a little bit more organization. Uh, I'm not sure if that's good or not. Just do that. That's fine for now. Cool, cool, cool. Come on. New Canaan. Go to war with me. Go. Come on. You're taking Poliva. A thousand manpower. Oh, the longer we wait, the stronger they get, So, which is really not good for us. <sighs> Disappointing. That's okay. Two divisions there should be okay-ish to hold. It's not great. It's really not ideal, to be honest with you. That's alright. Yeah, that's good. Devout operative captured, huh? That's just not good. Let's keep doing this, though. 800 days, not bad. So we want Hanksville, which will give us like just a few more, maybe what, maybe one more military factory, maybe peace conference. No, oh, good, good, good. We're building infrastructure quite a bit, which is kind of nice, quite nice to be honest with you. You guys could go there, but you guys could help with the line over there. Free from close air support, good. More ground, direct ground support, which is awesome. And it should take too much longer for us to go to war. Actually, if we can push this way and cut these guys off, that'd be muy bueno. That'd be very, very bueno. We only have like less than 20 days, 20 ish days until we go to war. Good. We got potentially some trained mongrels. Good, good, good. I love the trained mongrels. They don't require very much. And support the local governor. Ramp up robot production. We are swiftly rebuilding Rob Coco, Wyoming to its pre war height. We can now attempt to ramp up our industrial output significantly, which is awesome. We need 300. No, 286. Cool. 286 is all we need. That is a fine with me. We're still training some ships, which is good. And we're getting a crud ton of naval experience, which is awesome. That's looking good. That's not looking too bad. Go and switch these guys over. Do this. Uh, let them go on still. Uh, increase it to eh, one. Do that to one as well. We'll keep making both for now. Nice. That's fine. You can throw that one there. Paddle wheels, nice. River barges, you might as well. 286, cool. 124 becomes... 
127, so that's actually really good. We got three more factories out of that. Ask to join the Mormon Alliance. Nah. We're robots. We don't really do much with religion. Just saying. I mean, we could, maybe, but, you know. You know, I, I lied. 1v1. 1v1 it. We'll see what happens. Actually, come up here. Because these guys will easily die once these guys are cut off. Okay. We just encircled. 19 divisions here. And they're just going bye-bye. This is this is truly a beautiful thing. Who said robots can't make art? Oh, yes. Oh, oh man, this happened before like in most games. You can't really see what how many casualties you've dealt or taken. And even when I do it like this to go to see all wars, you still can't see it. I'm gonna assume I've just got like 3,000 enemies instantly. Well, you know what, we didn't even need to do that. I mean, we just killed off most of their entire army, which is just beautiful. I mean, they can try to spread up through here, but it does nothing. It'll do nothing for them. Uh, let's, let's expand to the Sorrows real quick, just because... We'll take them out, you know. I'm not really ready for the 80s, either. Our industry really isn't ready for that. But, I think we'll be ready pretty soon. So, grab that. Another division? Cool. Soon enough, we're going to need another army. Which I love, 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 love. Barfield, cool. A flaw in production. Something has happened to our production line. Where it was operating smoothly, it is now erratic, sloppy, and ineffective. We suspect that a disgruntled member of the Triumvirate has secretly infiltrated the software at the security hub and corrupted our machines. We can either continue using the defective robots or completely rework our production line. Oh my goodness. We can not help to fight with a substandard product. Um, does this affect anything? Not really. Uh, I really don't want to hurt this, so we'll just do this. Cap growth, efficiency base, that's fine. Oh, and let's do this. Uh, let's do that one first. Redistribute supply lines. While we are dealing with the issue of industrial sabotage, we can try and take advantage in the lull of production to effectively maximize resource allocation. Get to New Canaan. Good Colville, huh? Fall of New Canaan, the city of refuge, is in our hands at last. Old Brigham, go straight up. Take it. Good. And we have plenty of robots in reserve, which is... Oh, they're gone. Which is nice. Do we have enough? Oh my goodness, we have way enough infantry armor. That's beautiful. I could lower this, but I'm really lazy, so I'm not going to. We probably don't need really any more manpower. Which is weird. It's so weird when you don't have to raise conscription levels when you're playing this mod. If you don't have to, you've done something pretty darn well. Cool. Oops. Uh, if I have to pause it real quick. Now, we're getting pretty lucky so far that no one has used anti-tank. But once people start using anti-tank, we're going to sh shake things up a little bit more. You guys have anti-tank? Yeah, they do. This is not going to be good. If they can pierce me easily, we're going to shift things around a little bit more. Hmm. Jeez. Get some of that. And, oh, training program's good. Grab some more military factories, actually. And eventually, we will build up, like, everywhere, so it really doesn't matter to me. I'll probably... Oops. Well, that's only one. We need more circuitry, of course, but... Whatever. All this has to be built. Come on, build, 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 build. Cool, I'll just do all this stuff, too. Cool. Ah, uh, train doggos, why not? Oh, we have two. Thank you. Uh, I really don't want to use these guys just because, um... Yeah, they don't really like us that much. Let's get a new guy, then. 707, unit 504. Cool. Is he as American as Apple Pie? No, he's not. That's kind of disappointing. Recon, night person. Well, I'm not really sure if night person really affects a robot's ability to wage war, but... I would assume it does, I guess. I guess. Go and throw this guy over here just because he needs more of that. Thank you very much. They're not really on this side for some reason. Not really sure why, but that's okay. Since we're waiting. Throwing tons of infrastructure everywhere. Right iron manufacturing. Give me a moment. Just do a little more of this. 
Cool. All the stuff will be built eventually. All of it will be built up. What else are robots going to do in the wasteland? Cool. Drag it on support. Nice. Redistribute those. Invest in industrial tech. Industry is the lifeblood of our nation. We should consider allocating grants to independent research divisions and construction teams in order to help further develop a robust economy. And now we have river barges. Paddle steamers? Sure, why not? Mercenary training instructors so we can go to war more often? Sure. Some more light robots? Eh, we can stop focusing on this then. Army department? Cool. Anti-partisan stuff. Help the settlements. More multi population. Two, almost 300. That's not bad. Um, I just love civilian factories, though. So we can just keep building, 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 building. You know what? We can do that, and then we can also do another one of these. There you go. Oh. There you go. Pretty good. Tons of guns, tons of crowd control gear. Still need more circuitry, which is kind of lacking, which I don't like. Hostile takeover. Okay, not bad, not bad. I still want bigger biggies, though. What is that combat with? 30-ish? A little bit less organization, but whatever. Two guys here. But with 80% more attack, we should do pretty well. Should. Any partisan? Cool. Watch out for spies, probably. Oh, we could recruit another operative. Unit 710. We're going to do that for now. You guys might do the same thing. Invest into industrial tech. Game, can I? Thank you. Oh, wait. Are we... We're not able to do this next one. Ah, reworking the production line. We can't do much else right now. Okay, cool. That just means we're going to suck on uh, extra political power right now, or we could use it to build up more infrastructure more quickly. Mm, infrastructure, 10% more infrastructure, or political power? I'll just keep the political power, to be honest with you. We could really use it. We could war even faster. Grand Canyon next. Just because we have to take it out eventually. Sure, not bad. Uh, so let's see what happens with this. Because they know they're going to attack me. What if we attack them in the back, though? Alright, so they could probably pierce us. Yes, but we can pierce them. So that's actually kind of good. Nice. Keep going in, guys. You're doing a great job. We've lost a, a couple guys, probably. Probably Kanab. Hey, and there they go. Purebred mutts? I love purebred mutts. Cool. I'm probably not going to send all 30 guys or all 30 divisions to go this way. I'll probably leave it like... I'll give you guys... There you go. There you go. Here's a couple more soldiers. Heavy robot divisions. We will be out of combat robots. Eh. Nah. Go and switch it over to this. That's fine. Electrical extraction. And go ahead and grab some more construction speed. Get some of this, because we can still do that. Watch out for spies. Do that next level as well. Grab better dogs. Get some more research going. Nice. We're doing pretty well. Pretty darn well. I, I do say so myself. Yeah, we're going to have a massive board between us in the 80s, and I don't like that. I really don't want to extend it anymore, so how about we go to war with the Children of the Gate? I'm obviously trying to really ignore my border with the Legion, because they're just kind of hanging out, and the NCR are still trying to struggle with these guys, huh? That's kind of cool. Well, good for them. Uh, these guys. Uh, actually, uh, how much support equipment do we have? We have plenty of support equipment, so I might lower my armor amounts if we can get some maintenance companies next. Cool. If we do that, that's 33. Um, combat with 33. We can do 36. Cool. 33, 36, 38, then 40. That's not bad. Keep doing this. Nice. Even faster war goals times. Yes, please. Good. Right now, we currently have to wait until when? 50 more days ish. Around 50 more days. That's not too bad. Really could use more. Oh, God. I can use more circuitry. Stratified attack patterns, patterns, patterns. Good. So much manpower, even as we're trying to put down resistance and stuff. So good. Collect that political power so we can pour more stuff if needed. Get some more factories. Get some more resources. Make sure less resistance. All that good jazz stuff. 
cool. I'll let you guys come over here as well. I'll let you guys train up if you need it, even though most of you guys really don't. Yeah, most of you guys are pretty good already. Nice. Very nice. Plane-wise, we are doing okay. We could use better planes. More planes, at least. Tugboat holes are really kind of worthless, but whatever. Rico, compensation studies. Grab some of that. Ballistas. Current expenses. National focus. Cool. Oh, yeah, we could also do some of this. Planning speed, max planning. That's not. That's actually not too bad, but I'll probably go with subroutine alpha just because I love less of black consumption. If you know me, supply is a huge thing for me to focus on in every single campaign because if you don't have enough supply, you, you might as well not even play. You might as well give up and say bye-bye. So let's go get subroutine alpha next. I think that's worth it. Nice. Even less supply consumption, which is incredibly useful. Actually, yeah, we could use some more planes. You know what? I'm going to go and throw you guys over here just because we need some planes to help out with close air support. Do these guys have anti-tank? No. I think that's good. Rework. Ah, good! Now I can actually do a focus, maybe. 80 days, that's not bad. Cool. And finalize the rebuild. We've done the previously thought impossible. We've completed renovating Robco, Wyoming to be, to be the envy of, of any developed nation. Our industrial prowess is the envy of all the wastes. Oh, that looks really good. Yes, please. Territorial security. Nice. 1.53. Yeah, we've had more. I think I've played as a nation. I can't remember who. It might have been a royal. We got up to three political power a day. Three. And that might have been before uh, not even doing a focus. So, a that's pretty impressive. That's pretty darn impressive. Uh, let's grab some more of this just because I love it so much. Build, build, build. And do we have any radar down here? We really don't. Go and put a radar thing down there. That'd be fine. You could probably use it now, but whatever. Let's go ahead and go to war. The Grand Canyon. I want the Grand Canyon. I wish you could open up the Grand Canyon and develop it as kind of a tourist trap. I think it'd be kind of fun. You could make a couple caps that way. If that would ever happen, and the devs would think that might be kind of cool to throw in, do it. I, I think it'd be really cool. Really, really cool. We need more circuit trick, dang it. Oh, look at that. Just... Can they... Can they really pierce us? They kind of can, but we still have air support, which is... That's the bread and butter in every single one of my campaigns for Overworld Blues. Air support. If you don't have enough air support, you might as well struggle. You won't win. You won't lose, necessarily. But you'll struggle a lot more if you don't have air superiority. Air superiority is just so key to everything. Or is a night person. Really, night, night bot. Nice. Very nice. Ballistas. I love it. But at least we got two armies now. Which means we should have more of an ability to take out the 80s, but they're looking pretty large. They're looking pretty darn thick, yeah. Holy crud. They don't have a lot of manpower, but they have a ton of divisions, and they can probably pierce me. That's always good to remember. They can probably pierce us. Oh, we got that done. Nice. Go ahead and do the 80s next. That'd be pretty important to do. Let's do that one. 400 days for those guys. That's fine with me. Tugboat hose. Very good, very good. Go and do that one, because I don't care. Finalize the rebuild. The third council. The time has come. Every facet of the nation is now under control of a singular protectoron. The other two? Simple distractions. 135 days, that's not too bad. Uh, go ahead and give me these four guys. Throw them back on into here. Nice. The way we're, I'm taking out territory is really disgusting. It's really disgusting. That's okay. We do it because we love it. That's looking pretty good. Actually, do we... Oh, we... Whew, we definitely need more army XP. God dang. Formation flying. Very cool. The Third Council. The morning of the Third Council was the last one for the Triumvirate. Crazy Horse and Wild Bell were summoned at the behest of MacArthur, who promised a solution to the ongoing power struggle between the three. However, upon arriving to the prescribed meeting place, Crazy Horse and Wild Bill saw that MacArthur was suspiciously absent. Minutes passed, and the two protectrons grew increasingly anxious. Just as their patience wore thin, MacArthur arrived with a full military escort. Quickly, he ordered the two clasped in irons, and read the list of charges levied against them. The two had funded insurrection in the Yinta territory, sown scientific discord, intentionally sabotaged the nation's arms production, and attempted to encourage a military coup. Normally, MacArthur stated such a list of crimes would be punished by treason. However, forcing their abdication, but allowing them to remain as generals, seemed to be a reasonable charge instead. Crazy Horse and Hickok had no defense. They were caught red-handed. Swiftly, they were carried away, and MacArthur began his work anew. MacArthur stands victorious. 
Long live General MacArthur, and look at that flag. Ah, oh, Mac Daddy is so handsome. And let us do this to end episode. I shall return. In the March of 1942, MacArthur promised the Philippines that we will return after being pushed out by the Japanese military. He kept that promise. Now MacArthur makes another promise. He will return to Washington, D.C., and he will personally see the reinstitution of the American government. The way ahead is an arduous one, but America will be restored. With that, my friends, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow when we shall attack the people of Heaven's Gate and continue uniting the American government once again. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.